Do you ever find yourself giving Gemini the same instructions over and over? Your preferences, your style, your rules, every single time. Let me show you a way to stop doing that forever. Today, I'm going to show you what a gem is, how to create one under 60 seconds, and two real examples that will completely change the way you use AI. My name is Carlos, and I help small businesses around the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. So what exactly is a gem? Think of a standard Gemini as a general purpose assistant. It can be a little bit of everything, but a gem, a gem is a specialist you create. It is your own custom version of Gemini with a name, a job, a set of instructions that it always follows. You can build a gem that's just your personal chef or your coding partner or just your social media manager. The best part, you only explain your rules once and the gems remembers them forever. And creating one is actually super simple. Let me show you. From the Gemini home screen, click on gems in the sidebar. Here you will see any gems you already have created. Let's go ahead and click on create a new gem. This page has three simple parts. First, the name. Let's call this one my test gem. Second, a description. Here, explain what it does, and then the instructions. This is the brain of your gem. This is where you tell it who it is, what it does, and the rules it should follow. So, for example, I could type, You are a master gardener. Only give me advice on Zone 5B. Always be encouraging. Then, you can add a kind of knowledge base. Files that can be as a reference to do the work. This is optional. And finally, save it. That's it. Your new gems shows up in the sidebar ready to use. But the real magic comes from the instructions you put in. Let me show you two examples that I think you are going to like. Here's my first example. It is something that I use on my personal life. I'm busy and I'm trying to stick on a budget. And I have a specific dietary rules. And honestly, I got tired of reminding Gemini every single time. So I created a gem called the 30 Minutes Chef. Let me create it from the beginning. On the left, I click on Gems. And then I click on New Gem. The name is going to be the 30 Minutes Chef. For the description, I'm going to use just my personal chef. And here I have the instructions. You are my personal chef. Your rules are 100% gluten-free, 30 minutes max, and a budget conscience. I will scroll down and I will add some knowledge base. I'm going to add three books that I have. I click on the plus sign and I have those PDF books in my drive. So I click on add from drive. And here I have them. I will select the three of them and I click on insert. The three books have been uploaded. Now I will click on save. My new gem has been created and I have it here on the left. I click on it and I can start using it. Now watch how easy this is. Without repeating any of those rules, I can just type. I have chicken breast, broccoli, eggs, and hot sauce. What's for dinner? Then I click on submit. And instantly, I get the recipe. The hot and spicy chicken and broccoli scramble. It will take me like a 15 to 20 minutes to prepare. It is gluten free and it is on budget. Here I have the ingredients, then the instructions, and some additional notes or recommendations. So, no reminders, no extra steps, just useful results every time. This has completely changed the way how I plan my weeknight meals. Let me now show you a different example. 
This one is the Email Bounce Back Analyzer. This is one that I use almost every single day for my daily work. I have clients telling me to analyze the email bounce back that they have received. So gems are also incredible useful for work. Here's a bounce back example. Let's see how this works. I click on new gem. I'm going to call this one email bounce back analyzer. As a description, I'm just going to add analyze any emails bounce back. And the instructions, which is the most important part, I entered. Act as an email deliverability expert and analyze any text that I pasted to it. Give me a clean, simple report with four parts. A summary, a bounce type, a likely cost, and a recommendation action. In this case, I'm not going to provide any knowledge base. So I click on Save. My new gem is ready to work. I click on it on the left. As a prompt, I'm just going to enter a bounce back that I want to analyze. And you probably have seen something like this before. It's a kind of giant block of text from Mailer Daemon with probably an error message with a lot of text that most of the times are not very clear. So I just click on Submit. In a couple of seconds, I get my report. And I can read here. The bounce report is a classic case. Here's the analysis. The email was permanently rejected by the recipient mail server. The specific error message indicates that the email address is not recognized or does not exist in the system. As part of the report, it is telling me is a permanent failure. And here is the likely cost. Is an invalid or not existing recipient? Then my report provides recommended actions. So I can immediately do this. So that's what gems are. They are not just chats. They are custom tools, personal assistants, an expert partner you design yourself. You can build a fitness coach, a sarcastic movie critic, a budgeted assistant, or even a coding partner that only use the libraries you prefer. Now, I want to hear from you. What's the first game you are going to build? Drop your ideas in the comments. I would love to check them out. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Remember, stay secure in the cloud, keep tech savvy, and ahead with AI.